Hello, and welcome to our science web series, brought to you by sciencehook.com. Today, we will understand the mathematics behind Monty Hall problem. The Monty Hall problem is a brain teaser in the form of a probability puzzle, loosely based on the American television game show, Let's Make a Deal, and named after its original host, Monty Hall. The game is something like this. There are three doors, behind which are two goats, and a car. The contestant does not know where the car is, but Monty Hall does. You pick a door, call it door A. You are hoping for the car, of course. Monty Hall the game show host, examines the other doors, B and C, and always opens one of them, with a goat. If the contestant has already chosen the correct door, Monty is equally likely to open either of the two remaining doors. Now, here is the game. After Monty has shown a goat behind the door that he opens, the contestant is always given the option to switch doors. So, what is the probability of winning the car, if the contestant stays with the first choice? What if he decides to switch? Surprisingly, the odds are not 50-50. If you switch doors, probability of winning will be twice than that of losing. Let's understand why. We will assume that C is the winning door, and the two remaining doors, A and B, both have goats behind them. There are three options. First, the contestant chooses the door, with the car behind it. He is then shown either door A, or door B, which reveals a goat. If he changes his choice of doors, he loses. If he stays with his original choice, he wins. Second, the contestant first chooses door A. He is then shown door B, which has a goat behind it. If he switches to the remaining door, he wins the car. Otherwise, he loses. Third and the last one, the contestant first chooses door B. He is then is shown door A, which has a goat behind it. If he switches to the remaining door, he wins the car. Otherwise, he loses. Each of the above three options, has a 1 by 3 probability of occurring, because the contestant is equally likely to begin, by choosing any one of the three doors. In two of the above options, the contestant wins the car, if he switches doors. In only one of the options he does win, if he does not switch doors. Thus the probability of winning the car is 2 by 3, if he switches doors, which means that he should always switch doors, unless he really wants a goat. This result of 2 by 3 may seem counterintuitive, but it's the correct solution. With increasing number of doors, probability of winning by switching door, increases. Let's assume there are 10 doors to pick from, in the beginning. You pick one door. Monty looks at the 9 others, finds the goats, and opens all but one. This time winning chances by switching the doors will be 9 by 10, because you'll lose only in one case here, when you choose the door with car and first guess. Rest 9 choices will lead you towards win. Similarly, with 100 doors, it will be 99 by 100. With 1000, it will be 999 by 1000, and so on. So, that's all about concept behind Monty Hall problem. Please like, and subscribe our channel, and don't forget to share this video.